Welcome back guys to part two of overpowered center backs. How is it going? The response on the first video was insane. So if you guys can smash over 250 likes, I will get out the midfielders version of this. And also what I'm going to be doing is uh, showing you guys all the player upgrades for like the best teams, I, I guess, from like each league. So yeah, keep, keep smashing the likes and let me know in the comment section if you're excited about any of the players that are mentioned in this video. But before we start, if you are needing some ultimate team coins, make sure to check out FIFA ultimateteamcoins.com links down below in the description go using my code fuji for that discount and if you need game codes or anything gaming related fifa is literally well fifa 16 is around the corner use my code fuji on g2a for a discount and yeah go stock up on psn xbox live and all that good stuff but we are ready for the eight new players eight players let's do it manolas 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 <laughs> i don't know why i said it like that but jesus oh the syria it's like beast fc has has been opened like they've opened up a shop at Syria well at Syria in Syria and yeah it's just mad mental like honestly Manolas pace heading strength he's gonna have it all and there are other like players that you can link him up easily in the in the list so yeah definitely big thumbs up Manolas what a king looks good we don't need any more like we just don't need any more he's in the list it is a Cora used to be a silver he has now been upgraded to a gold what does that mean he's cheap he's gonna be discard and he's going to be in everyone's squad like the, the options that you have in the bpl to pick for in defense is just uh, overkill it's actually overkill but yeah great player he's going to be insane as well so yeah use him are you serious rudiger non rare silver remember him now he's a gold in the Serie A, playing for roma and again there you go manolas rudiger partnership Boom, it's, it's all good, but he's going to be a pretty decent uh, uh, defender. Only real problem that I would have maybe checking his in-game stats are his strength attributes, but uh, he's going to be fast. He's probably going to have enough pace to sort of get in front and just be annoying. So he's going to be good, lads. He's going to be good. So yeah, definitely look to pick him up at the start because he's probably going to be cheap as well. Juan Jesus. Now hear me out. This guy right here is probably my number one of players that I really want to try. Not only is he going to be a sweat bag because he's cheap, he's fast, he's powerful. He has really good defending attributes. Like you get sweaty players where maybe they've got like 79 or like 70 stand tackles and they're, and they're just pretty much like pace and strength. But he looks like a complete sweat bag like it's actually insane so yeah he's got really good defending uh standing tackles sly tackles interceptions marking he's got it all so uh, yeah when says uh, you can partner him up with any like uh syria across the back line you have like a brazilian link it's just wow syria is the place to be it looks like anyway so we have another brazilian in the list and it is felipe santana remember when everyone used to use him on fifa 11 or 12 uh he sort of dipped off a little bit he, like ea killed his pace and now he looks bad he look well he's he's looking good he's looking really really good and i thought he was going to be rumored to be a silver and he was until they took a u-turn there you go he's now a gold uh, he's going to be discard and he's going to be used. So look out for him. A Bundesliga B centre back. Nice. Mauricio is up next and he reminds me. This is why I put him in the list. He reminds me of Castan. And I really liked Castan last year just because uh, he had really good defending stats. Uh, he wasn't the quickest, but he could read the game really, really well. And I feel like Mauricio is going to be like um, a carbon copy of him where he's got high defensive work rates. That's all ticked. Like he's going to have good strength, good stand tackles. So so for a starter team, without a doubt, pick him up. Like with, I, I think he's going to be discard. Honestly, I think he's going to be discard, and he could more than likely be a hidden gem. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out for him. Looks looks really really good. So we are back to the Syria to check out. We didn't even leave. We didn't leave the Syria. The Serie A is packed full of players this year. It's like a battle between BPL and Syria. But Koulibaly is there. He was a silver. Now he's a gold. Why, yeah, why? He's gonna be a monster. Great pace, good strength, decent height. I think he's like six foot three or six foot four. Oh, more options, just more options. What can I say? So the last player to finish off the list I brought in is Marik Sachi or Suchi. The uh, reason why I brought him in is because I wanted to maybe like put someone that wasn't really anticipated by you guys. That uh, if you knew of those players anyway, then you've got another one to try out. And obviously his league isn't the best, but Basil, they do have like really, really good players that are popping up. 
So I think it won't be too hard to bring him into sides. And definitely once the full game is out, I'm going to be building squads, helping you guys uh, bring these overpowered players into teams for sure. And I think he's going to be good. Like great pace, uh, good, good defending stats. So yeah, for sure, like uh, bring him into your side if you can. But guys, that is going to be the end of part two. Like I say, smash out 250 likes and I'll get out overpowered midfielders because it takes a while to look through them and, and to see which ones are good. And then I've got like uh, the best players uh, from the teams uh, of the top leagues as well. So yeah, hopefully you do enjoy that. But if you have, drop a like and I will see you Team Fuji on the next video. Take it easy. Peace.